So welcome to CFS Fiberglass. This morning we've got Al and Ross on their annual examination of all our marine and boat care products. They're going to go through them fairly rapidly um, to see if they can explain briefly um, what our products are. This is only part of the range. Um, as, as you can see, there's quite a lot to it. But they're going to go through these um, individual things fairly briefly to give you an idea of what we stock. So, guys, yeah, where are you going so to start? Briefly, I would start uh, very quickly with um, anti foul remover, uh, strip it. It's a caustic, pro a caustic uh, product, so obviously, you do need to take into consideration health and safety. Um, gets rid of uh, boat paints, uh, anti foul, uh, any conventional single pack um, paints. Um, Literally a brush on application and a wash off the next day sort of jobby. Cool. Um, next, off, uh, obviously onto that, we would go uh, along with the anti-foul, uh, obviously the 033. My personal opinion, and shared by many here, probably the best anti-foul. Bit of a statement to make, but the um, C-Jet is, is the best um, anti-foul on the market. Um, comes in a wide range of colours. Um, and also, you have the C-Jet Primer, which is the 011. Yeah, um, good tie coat, straight onto gel coat, or on top of another anti foul you're not sure of. Cool. And also, again, another like a boot top. Again, this is actually an international product, uh, different manufacturer to this one here. Uh, again, fairly good product. Um, again, a wide range of colours. And then moving on, you could go um, obviously gel coat fillers. This is a fairly good product. Yeah, really, um, really popular that one. Really, really popular. Um, almost like a, basically a, a tube of toothpaste. Big tube of toothpaste, uh, right. spread it cards and hardener. Um, this one particular is white. Uh, not sure about this one would be coloured. No, only available in white, but we can sell products to make that up from our normal gel coat range um, mm. if you need a different colour. What, by adding a pigment? Yeah, to, to an approximation to what the uh, um, eventual gel coat repair will be. Yep, use oh, one I of see, our clear okay. bases with, yeah. with the colour pigment. And then you've obviously got the um, single pack polyurethane paint, so obviously the uh, top layer. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, sorry. Go on. Who, Go on out. Who made the mistake? Ross. Well, this is an exam, so let um, let the master take over. <laughs> Come on, Al. Give it. <laughs> tell the boy the answer. I mean, entry level paint. Yeah. Single pack enamel. Uh, most popular. Uh, the cheapest of their type. Um, uh, good ten years gloss retention, apparently, according to the manufacturer. Massive range of colours with this stuff. Um, you get about nine square meters out of a tin. That's the number one international um, um, selling paint f that we sell for, yes, for marine application. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. What about thinness for that one? Okay, uh, just thinness. Yeah. That's number one. Um, you mix it in, helps with the flow rate of the paint when you're applying it with a roller. And undercoat. Right. You'll need a different color undercoat for whatever top coat you use. Okay. What are these um, three here with gold tint? <coughs> What's this one that says schooner gold? And okay. What these are those are three? Three single pack varnishes. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, original and the two other types. The schooner gold, I believe, has got a slight amber hue to it, bring out the color. So of this wood. is all for woodwork? Oh, all of this woodwork. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Just clear finishes. Um, and then what is, what's this here, Water Titan? What, what are these here? That's okay. Fun. Really interesting product, this polyurethane varnish. All right. Um, really easy to apply. I mean, this stuff you can put down into freezing point. Moisture curing product is extremely flexible. It's really popular on, on woodwork that's under sort of stress. What about Water Titan? Yeah, what's that one? Uh, it's just that's your bog standard epoxy underwater filler. Okay. Uh, what about the, obviously, the other most popular one? Is obviously the perfection. Twice the cost of the single pack paint stat probably lasts you twice as long on your boat then. Is it um, epoxy based or what? polyurethane? Polyurethane. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit like a super version of that blue one you showed me? Yeah. Okay, um, the top lac. Obviously, a wide range of colours again now. Uh, yeah, not as many as the top lac. They have been reduced over the years in the actual range from international themselves. They're not so popular, but you paid the price and you get a better. Yeah, you get a better okay. finish. Yeah. All right, so what have again, we got over? thinners with that as well. Yeah. And then obviously, obviously moving on towards the end, you've got obviously, oh, another product, just very briefly, this is a very, very popular product, um, oxalic acid, um, basically removes dust, uh, dust, rust, uh, dirt. <laughs> That's um, rust with an R, not a D? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> any muck, basically, from the, uh, from the gel coat. Yeah, yeah, I know it's good for yeah. removing iron yeah. stain, on uh, a, from anything, yeah. concrete, wood, anything. Powder form, which is the crystals, yeah. uh, mix that with water, yeah. um, the mix on the back. Strong um, stuff. Strong stuff. Um, 
again polishes um, not really my point um, I don't know if Al wants to come in here but obviously you're starting off with a Ferrecla range um, yeah G nice stuff G6, G3 good all round compounds um, you won't really won't need anything else unless your boat's in really bad state um, what we find is most people like to apply them on the gel coats with a hard compound mop um, which is a foam mop, isn't foam it? Foam mop, yeah. yeah. What's the um, difference between the red and the orange? Then? Okay, the red one's soft. I'd, oh, I'd right. use that on paint yeah. uh, with the harder compound one on, on the gel coat. Yeah. Use it with a multi-speed polisher like, like this one. Yep. We've we do also have another cheaper version of that one available as well. Yeah. And what are the, what are the finally, it looks like you've, um, there's just the crystal glows uh, there. Yeah, just finish off with a nice, decent acrylic UV stable. All right. Um, Polish. Uh, Excellent product. Um, read the reviews online on this one. It's actually a Canadian product. Um, it's quite a range that from when it, when it first started um, to what it used to be. And then um, you've got a Scotch Guard. What's that? Another marine wax? Yeah, they're just all waxes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you pay your money and you take your choice. But you guys like the crystal glow, though? My, my personal favourite for polishing and restoring is definitely, yeah. from my personal opinion, best, um, best feedback. Yeah, best feedback. Hey, well, that's pretty good. I think you've done a pretty comprehensive introduction to um, the range, and um, we'd just like to thank you for showing us. You're welcome. Thanks. As a, uh, a special for the month of March, we have a 10% offer of uh, marine uh, boat care products, which you've seen here today. Um, all of this range, uh, plus much more. Um, the actual offer is for online only, and you can see website for details. Um, for, for more information, you can click uh, click the link in the description. Uh, but like I said, everything here, uh, plus a lot, lot more.